Do you have a drinking problem? It's worse than I thought. <laughs> Hi everyone, Anthony <laughs> Fantano, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review, Best Coast, the only place. Best Coast is a California indie rock and pop band, duo, sort of right now, project, fronted by singer-songwriter Bethany Cosentino. In 2010, when Best Coast dropped its debut LP, Crazy For You, the band rose to the top of the mound of all these other groups chasing after this certain sound. This summery, fuzzy, upbeat, vintage girl group and garage rock inspired sound. Now my first impressions of Crazy For You was that it was very light, it was sweet, it was fun, had a couple really great singles, but the more I listened to it, the more tired I, I grew of it. And, and, and this album just makes me think, you know, there are reasons we have terms or phrases lying around like bubblegum pop. It's quick, it's easy, it's sugary, it picks you up fast, puts a little bit of a pep in your step. No consequences, no requirements. You just chew it and then you chew it and when it loses its flavor, you just spit it out. But with this new LP, it does not feel like a fresh stick of gum. This album to me feels like that same old piece of gum that I spat out in 2010 and now for some reason, I don't know why, I've decided to pull the gum out of the gum wrapper that I rolled it in after I was done with it and just start chewing it all over again. This album definitely is a lot less fuzzy grainy or lo-fi, there is less of a rock attitude on this album. And Best Coast kind of settles into a much more paced, spotless, and planned out delivery. The overall sound is clearer, the guitars have more sheen than they do distortion, there are more vocal melodies, there's a track where I, I think I'm picking up vibraphone, like a vibraphone solo, there's another track where I'm picking up some string arrangements. But to me, this album doesn't feel like more. I mean, I'm hearing more sounds, but energy, less, charm, less, to the point where this album feels like an act. It's like a compilation of Best Coast covers performed by the cast of Glee. Of course, on this album, the lyrics aren't really doing much for me. I would actually say they're doing less for me on this LP. I feel like Bethany, this time around, is even less afraid of saying something that may or may not sound corny. The opening track on here, lyrically, sounds like a, a commercial for, for moving or vacationing in California with, with the sun in your eyes and in your teeth. We have fun. We have fun. And then there are a lot of tracks on here that are basically non-specific references to interpersonal problems with friends family members, love interests, and Bethany kind of talks about her personal life a little bit too, since kind of hitting it big with the debut Best Coast album, talking about kicking habits, like drinking out the door. I am picking up significantly less pot references on this album. References to spending money and people coming and going in and out of your life. I'm sure all of this stuff has a lot of personal significance and importance to Bethany. I mean, it should, it's her life, you know? But the way she tells it and the way she describes it to an outsider, to somebody who's not living her life, it just feels really mundane. I think it's nice that Bethany can find so much inspiration in the little everyday things, friends, family, phone calls, nature. But as a lyricist, she doesn't really say anything about any of these things that makes them feel all that captivating to me. And yeah, there are reasons that Best Coast sounds the way that it does. I have no assumptions going that this album doesn't sound the way it's supposed to. Even right down to the simplicity of the lyrics, which mirrors that vintage girl group sound that inspires Bethany's music so much. But I still have to acknowledge that <laughs> Best Coast is not making music that appeals to me on any level. And that's it. 
I mean, I'm kind of feeling a strong two to a light three on this album. Not in a light three. I'm feeling a light three on this. Just not into it at all. What did you guys think of this album? Did you love it? Did you hate it? And if you did, why? What should I review next? And thanks for watching. Stay positive. Or try. Anthony Fantano. Best Coast. The only place forever. <laughs>